After ordering on queue, you will receive a fulfillment email, and in that email is your license key. You want to keep that key handy because it's very important that you have that should you need to ever go back and enter your license. When you first launch on Q, you'll notice you get a splash screen and then upcoming will be the ability to activate the program. It is better to activate online because that's the easiest way to do it. Now, the thing that you need to do is simply take and enter your activation code here in this line. Once you've entered your activation code, you simply click activate. At that point, you agree to the end user license agreement. And now it will tell you how long your license is good for. We can click close here and begin to work. We're going to create a new case and I am going to put mine on the root of the C drive because that is the easiest place for me to build. So I'm just going to select C and I'm going to type in the name of the case on Q demo and click OK. I'm going to show you now how to easily add documents to on Q by a drag and drop method. So I have my documents in my data folder here. Uh, you can have these documents anywhere on your computer that you wish. And now we will take one, two, and three, select the three of those files, drag and drop them in, and we will click OK. And when we click OK, what this will do is add those PDF files in. It is going to specifically break pages out into individual documents, as you can see here. And then as soon as it is done, it will load those in and register those files into OnQ. And as you can see, we now have all of our pages inside of our documents that are available to be worked with inside of OnQ. We're going to move on to videos and do the exact same thing that we did before. So this time we're going to go to videos right here and we can do one of two methods. Now this works for documents and videos, so I want to show you a different way to get it in. We're going to click the plus sign here and right over here, we're going to navigate to our C drive, navigate to our OnQ demo, audio visuals, and we will take this from here and click the plus sign and we'll click OK. And notice now that adds that into OnQ. So it's now registered and in. With synced video, meaning the deposition is synchronized to the transcript so that you can use page and line numbers to play any part of a deposition. OnQ takes an MDB sync file that any videographer should be able to provide for you. The two parts of a deposition video are the sync file, which is the transcript and other instructions for the computer, and the actual video itself. What you do with each one is simple and important. So we will now take the transcript, the MDB file that we have here, that's simply MDB is the file extension. We'll drag and drop into OnQ, click OK, and now our transcript is in. In order to see our transcript, we'll click on the Edit Designations tab up in the Workflow ribbon. And let's just select some text and click our Preview eyeball here to take a look and see. And you can see we've gotten an error. Unable to play the designation because this corresponding video cannot be found. This is the second part of the video process that we discussed. The first part we have in, which is the transcript. Now we need to get the video in the proper place. Here's the video that it's looking for. So I'm going to copy this out of my folder and I'm going to navigate now to the OnQ demo folder, synced videos folder, and now we will paste in this video. We'll go ahead and close that down and this time when we go to preview, it has actually found the video file. This is the workflow ribbon up top where if you move your windows around, you'll notice that you can move things around. And if they get out of whack like this, all you have to do is click on any one of these and that will bring you back with your windows. So on Q has two modes, production and live. Production is this screen that you're looking at right now. Live is this screen, which as you can see is just a black screen. If I push control T, you'll see my toolbar come up in the bottom. That's how we know that we're on live. So we have live that looks like this and the production screen that looks like this. So let's select a document in the media bar. 
And what we're going to do is go on our annotate documents to get our viewer up. And we're going to click on one document here, which happens to be the on cue live hotkey quick reference card. Hit F5, just like in PowerPoint, or hit the go live button right here and the ribbon and boom, you're presenting a document. So let's start with hitting F5. And as you can see, there it is. Now, that's how you put a document up. If you want to close that down, you push escape. If you want to get back to nothing being on the screen, when you're in an external mode, you would click escape again. Now, let's go ahead and launch this. We push the button this time instead of F5. And there you can see how that works. Showing the next page of a document is as easy as hitting the right arrow button. And if you wanted to go to page six of this document, for instance, we would type six, enter, and that would take us to page six. While in presentation mode or your live mode, you can move around from document to document by typing X plus the document number and hitting enter. This is why naming your folders or documents by exhibit number comes in handy. So let's go to exhibit three. If we push X three enter, that takes us now to exhibit three. If you wanted to go to a specific page within a document, for instance, exhibit number two, page number 25, I would go X2.25, enter, and that would take me to page 25 of exhibit two. You can hit escape twice to exit live. Now, let's start highlighting some stuff Annotations are just the highlights, callouts, and underlining you do to emphasize certain information. You can save these annotations for use in live. We are in documents in the media bar right here, and we are going to take the first document we have here, number one, and we're going to add a highlight. So we can do a highlight by clicking on the H key, or we can click our highlighter tool right here. And then we're just going to highlight some text right here. Then we're going to underline some text. And you can see here, this is our line. It's Shift L. If we were going to do an underline, you can use Shift L or you can click this. You can change the color of that right here. So we're going to do it in red. And we're just going to underline this right here. So now that we've got that underlined, now we're going to do a call out, which you can press C on your keyboard or you can press the call out button and do a call out. And you can see our underline, you can see our highlight. And now we want to save this annotation by clicking the save annotation button. And once we save that, your new annotation appears in the media bar under the page that you were working on with an extra decimal place. That extra decimal point tells you what version of this you have. So if you did another uh, call out here. Let's do another call out on top of this one and let's move that call out and let's just draw a filled rectangle right here and we save the annotation. Notice we have 1.1 which is this one and 1.2. You can now present this in live by pushing F5 or going to the go live button. So let's go live. And there we have it. Let's move to transcripts now and talk about designations First thing we'll do is click on our transcripts tab. When we click on Dale Newton, we will click edit designations and that will bring us up to our transcript here that you can see of Dale Newton. Now, in order to create a new designation list, what we want to do is click on designations in our media bar, click the plus sign and we'll create a new designation list. Now, as you can see, OnQ has default named for you the new designation list. However, we want to make our ID and our name ourselves. So, we will click on new designation list. And first, before the hyphen, we are going to type V1. This stands for video one. This is our ID. Remember, we always want our IDs to be short. Our names after the hyphen can be as descriptive as we want them to be. So we will call this Newton Affirmatives. Okay? So we've created the designation. Now let's move over to our transcript and let's create a few designations to put in our list. We're going to go page 5, line 25, and let's come down to line 5 of page 6, right-click, and choose Add Selection. Now as you can see, 
This has put V1.1, the first designation, and gives us our page and line number. Let's do a couple more. We'll go down to page 6, line 15, and we will go down to page 7, line 5. At this point, you can right-click and choose to add selection, meaning you're going to add this to the designation list that we are currently in. You can insert this selection before the one that's currently done or after. Also, to save yourself some time, if you don't want to right click, you can also hit Control S on your keyboard and we'll do that on the next one. So let's move down and just do one more. This time we're going to use our Go To button and go to page 30. And now on page 30, we will choose line 7 through 13. We will highlight it there and we'll press Control S as in Sam. Now, as you can see, we have our three designations in. Let's talk about tuning. The way tuning works, works the same for all designations. So let's start this one. We can do one for you on the screen and then you can do your own to learn from them. Once we've selected the designation that we want to tune, we're going to come down to our tuning area in the video editor here at the bottom of the screen, as you can see. We're going to click on the arrow pointing to the right. This is the start of our designation. And we are going to click the preview eyeball right here to preview where this designation starts. Any additional uh, fellowships or as you could hear there, it is perfectly fine, and that's where we want this designation to start, so we will save the changes. Notice that the color has changed to a silver or gray color. That is there to show you that this has been tuned. Now let's move to the end of our designation by clicking on the arrow pointing left. That is the end of our designation. We are going to hit the preview button once again. That looks like an eyeball there. We're going to click the preview. This is going to back up three seconds and where it ends is where your clip will end. So let's click that. So you had a fellowship <coughs> in neuroradiology? Yes. Now that one is good. So there's no need to tune it. But if we did, let's go ahead and step back on our time code just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to end it right there. Notice the original time code and the time code that it ends. We'll hit save. We have the start point and the end point now tuned. Let's preview this again to hear how it's going to sound. So you had a fellowship <coughs> in neuroradiology? Yes. And there you go. That's ready to go. So now we could simply click any of these designations or the full list right here, Newton Affirmatives. We could push F5 and that would send that to live to be able to play. Now, if you want to organize some things, notebooks are a good way to organize your materials with an on-cue. You can add anything from your case into a notebook. So let's hit the Build Notebooks button in the Workflow ribbon, and you'll notice a notebook pane pops up along with your viewer pane right here. Now let's click on the plus symbol of the notebook pane. So we're going to click plus right here, and we're going to name our notebook Mr. Smith. All right, and now you can drag and drop anything that you want into your notebook. We add 1.1. Notice that its annotations also come along with it. Let's say we don't want that. We could delete this out of the notebook and we could put in just the annotation that we wanted as well. You can do a, an entire exhibit or you can do loose pages just like you see here where I'm just dragging different things and putting them in. Wherever the black bar is and you drop, that's where it is going to go. You can also add in your transcript designations that you've done here. We can add this in as well. And we can go to our videos tab where we had our news footage, which you can see here by clicking play. We can drag that as well into our notebook. So that's how you create notebooks and you can make as many of these as you wish. We can call this one Mr. Jones. And you can see here, we can have two notebooks, three notebooks, or 300 notebooks. It's completely up to you. So there you have it. on -cue basics are complete. You're on your way to being able to do trial presentation. 
For advanced tips, see our tutorials and articles on our website. And if anything stumps you while getting up to speed, the OnQ team will help you understand it. Most questions can be answered in a minute or two. Don't hesitate to contact us at support at onqtech.com. Happy hot seating to you. We wish you the best of luck and we're glad you're here.